When classical musicians perform in local hospitals, both the players and the patients find it to be a good medicine. It's about being a healer because the music is designed to soothe and heal. Performers with Pro Musica are going beyond the concert hall to bring classical music to the people, which UTEP Masters Cello's performance major, Amy Miller, said helps her as a musician to build a connection to her audience. I think that playing for people is very important because, you know, you're in a practice room for hours at a time and, you know, you're playing for yourself, but when you have that time to share it with someone else and connect with them in that way, you know, music is an unspoken language, so it's universal. So Lee said that playing music for hospital patients is an extension of the group's mission to make classical music accessible to all. Patients in the hospital from the beginning of life in the neonatal intensive care unit to um, the end are given music for comforting reasons, and it's really amazing to see. The use of music to help the healing process has been around for centuries, but began to emerge as a professional practice in the 1940s, according to the American Music Therapy Association. In addition to pro musica performances that offer opportunity to connect with classical music on an informal level, others like Chaplin Eduardo Henningham of Hospice of El Paso have seen the benefits of music in all stages of life. I see a lot of change, especially those that what we call long-term patient or patient that is going through the dying process. Um, I get expressions, those that can talk, I get expression that expression like, you made my day. Um, I can see what I call an enlightening in their face. It helped them kind of bring back a little bit their memory. And some of them will really um, repeat part of the lyrics. Some, some of them will really sing part of the lyrics. And for me, um, those are very life-changing. So Lee said the program incorporated more community outreach efforts since Grammy Award-winning Zul Bailey became artistic director in 2000. Everything has uh, changed in such a great way in that the organization is much more education-based. It's been exciting is the fact that we can engage all of the artists that we bring in to the community and the region and take them to schools and have them engage with students, even here on campus to do special master classes and such. Pro Musica musicians playing occasional sessions at local medical centers have received positive feedback, said Solis. You can actually see, and the doctors will attest to it, that the music and the sounds, the soothing sounds of the cello actually stabilize heart rates, stabilize oxygen levels, and basically you don't hear a pin drop. The performances feature UTIP graduate music students. Well, we work closely with the students here on campus. Uh, Amy Miller, um, there is a student named Ivana Biliskov, and Chris um, Biros Hagas. They are all graduate students in the studio of Zul Bailey here at UTEP. And so um, we have another, a lot of other students here on campus who um, come and perform and want to get out in the community and um, share their gifts and talents. For Borderline, I'm Tim Lerma.